Hello, everybody. This is a shout out to King Ramo. He says, We need a day in the second life video. But I thought I first gave you a day in the life of the real life because that's who controls the second life avatar first. And then I'll give you the day in the life of a second life video. Thank you, King Ramo, for your full permissions and using your name in my video. And this is a shout out to you. Thank you so much, hon. Hi guys, this is Alicia Joya. Thank you for coming to this video. This is gonna be an intro to another video. And I have been preparing for a few weeks now, um, the day in the life of Alicia Joya, but also the, the day in the life of, you know, my other alternative personality, which is in Second Life, Alicia Joya Haven. Now, um, there are some things I don't, broadcast in my video that I do okay or I don't video because I help four families um, around me that I live near and um, three of them are elderly okay I help my elderly neighbors um, if they need help in the bathtub need help with cooking meals need help getting dressed um, my neighbors Frank and Barbara over here um, she's in her um, early 90s and she's at the point where you know she's in diapers and I'm helping to clean her up and giving her showers helping uh, Frank who's also old himself you know with her helping her in the car and you know for their appointments and and all that stuff so I'm off doing that and I don't video that and then my other neighbors um, over here on well the other side of me I'm in the middle of these two neighbors here um, he actually hurt his back and on occasion his wife will ask me for help and regarding you know this and that and sometimes they'll ask me to go grocery shopping for them on their behalf um, sometimes she'll um, <clears throat> she's also hurt her back too and so I will help her and, and him you know get their meals going and on occasion I'll feed their cat and um, which is in my video the little black cat um, well I have a black cat named TT they have a big fat fuzzy black cat named Bear and um, and then my other friend my other neighbor is Magda over here um, uh, she needs help on occasion because her arthritis is getting bad and so I kind of go and help her with her yard work or I help her with this or I help her with it, whatever she needs you know and um, sometimes I even help cook her meals for her too and then my other neighbors over here uh, my friend Manny's grandfather he's getting really old and I help him and his I help his wife too and his other family which are also my friends as well with with him as well so I mean I don't video that because I don't want to exploit them okay so this is the intro to this video and I know it's kind of raw but you know it's the truth you know what I mean and you guys don't want fakeness right you guys want the truth right all right so we're gonna get on to the next clip guys and I do love you guys for watching me good morning everybody welcome to my life some of you have asked um, what is day in the life of Leash Joy Haven well I don't want to just give you my avatars the day in the life I am gonna give you my real life person which is the real me obviously um, the day in the life I just saw my son get up in the morning and uh, I've been with him since 4:45 in the morning which I get up with him every morning and I see him off of school and I give him the pep talks I usually give him and then I come out here after he leaves for school and I watch the sun rise so you get to enjoy the sunrise with me right now
Okay guys, I am here in the house. I'm gonna be doing some uh, dishes in the morning. I usually do dishes in the morning. From leftover, try to keep the kitchen clean as much as possible. Sometimes I get a little lazy, so it's just a day in the life of doing, you know, what I usually do every single day in my life. And then, um, when the sun comes up a little bit more, I'll go out there and enjoy a little bit more. But right now, it's a little too dark for now, and I want to drink more coffee and do the dishes. So, here we go. portion of the morning with my son. Every morning I get up with him at 4.45 in the morning and you know I let him take a shower and, and all that stuff. I get up with my son nearly almost every morning and he's a teenager and I'm always up in his grill. And, uh, my pet, I, have an, I have a pet possum. I haven't named him or her yet. But I have been feeding her, like, if I have leftover fruit or vegetables, I do feed them out here. I don't feed them close to the house, so they're not in danger of being near a human, so they don't feel threatened. But I got up with my son this morning, and I'm always up at my son's grill. I'm always, you know, hanging out with him, always knowing what's going on in his life. I think it's very important for parents, no matter if you're single parents or if you have two parents in the band, or a guardian or whoever to always be up in children's grills pretty much. No matter how tired you are, no matter how inconvenienced you feel, your kids are always number one and important. And they remember that. My late daughter remembers that. I used to get up with her in the morning and make her hot chocolate and sneak hot chocolate when no one else was looking, just her and I. Just sitting there talking at the table, just drinking hot chocolate together. And when she was alive, she brought that up and that meant so much to her. So, so you never know when your kids are going to appreciate when they get older, those little things you do for them. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish enjoying the rest of my morning. Go back inside, drink my coffee, go do the dishes. We'll get started on the rest of the day. Invisible radiation. As the fireball stops expanding, a wall of pressure or blast wave races out at more than 700 miles per hour. 
What remains is called the wasteland. Hi everybody, this is Leisha Joya. Thank you for coming to this vlog. <laughs> you guys wandered into, you know, my life. And I'm doing the day in the life of Leisha Joya. And this is what I do, go for my walk, go get healthy. I do what I can do, my body will let me. And I try to push a tiny bit more past than what I would normally be able to do. Because you don't know your full potential until you push past your own comfort zone, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this walk. So we'll see you later. Anything you want to say? Say hi. Yes, come here and say hi. Come on. Oh, shush it. We're going to go to you. No camera? No? Fine. So you piss off at Sissy? You piss off? You mad at me? Did I do something to you? Or you just don't know what this is and you're freaking out? You just grumpy? You grumpy? Well, you're not the last to be grumpy when Sissy is here. No, not the last to be grumpy. It's only allowed to be happy. It's only allowed to be happy. Only allowed to be happy with Shishi. Because Shishi loves you so much. Oh, that a kid in it. Oh, what is this? He fine. Is he fine? So. Oh, does that feel good? Does it feel good? Oh, it feels good, huh? Oh, it feels good, huh? I found the itch, huh? Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Found it. Ah. All right. Now, are you happy? No. Okay, everybody, I have a little bit of a visitor here. I'm all sitting here chilling. He was here first. Actually, I was here first, and he hopped right next to me. Isn't he beautiful? Look at his stripes. He's just chilling there, let me film him. Close down here. Isn't he beautiful? Look at those stripes on the side. That's why you get close to them. Hopefully, he needs to come here. So, let me film this June. Isn't that awesome? I don't know if you saw my grasshopper or my cricket, whatever he is. But ever since I went vegan, a whole bunch of animals, strange animals, would just come up to me lately. Never what before when I was a meat eater. It's kind of really weird. <laughs> but I was, animals were already attracted to me before, but they weren't this attracted to me. The other day, I attracted a possum. I attracted a, let's see, a couple squirrels. Yes, we have squirrels here. I attracted a hawk, which I have a video of. And I think that video was a little bit blurry, but hey. Um, let's see. I've been attracting like strange animals, like extremely strange animals. Stray cats will follow me, stray dogs will follow me. Um, yeah, ever since I went vegan, more and more of these animals just come right up to me. So we're gonna video our little cricket friend again. And let's see how we fare.
hard to move at all. Yeah, he's alive. Hi guys, this is Alicia Joy. I'm off with my, my shopping trip still, and guess what I found? I might have actually found vegan adult multivitamins, but there's one ingredient, I'm not sure if it's vegan gelatin or if it's actually animal gelatin. So I'm about to do some research, so I'm gonna stop this video, do some research, and see if this actually truly is a vegan adult gummy multivitamin that you know, it'd be nice to have, finally, a vegan version, so, see you later. Okay guys, I tried seeing if these guys were actually vegan, but there's gelatin in it, so I'm questioning if, if it's actually vegan gelatin or if it's not vegan gelatin. So I asked the, the pharmacy over here and they couldn't find it for me if it was actually truly vegan. So because I don't know, I'm not going to buy, I'm just going to do some research later and I'll let you guys know if it's actually vegan or not. So we'll see you later. Hey everybody, we're at Party City doing our thing. Yeah, we're going to see, this is what he wants to see, what he looks like with it on. That's cute though. I, that? I actually like it's it. It's a monkey one. Nah, I like the it's fox one better. There's a monkey one, there's a donkey one, there's a blue one. I like the fox one better. The fox yeah. one's better. We like the, he likes the little hats like that. Alright, we out. Okay guys, this is Lisa Joya, guess where we're at. Guess what mask I'm wearing? <laughs> Isn't that scary? Oh, I'm eating mouse! Okay, I need to put this down. <laughs> Woo, threw that mask on the ground. We got Starbucks people. I'm getting my stuff veganized. He may not, but I don't force my beliefs onto my son, so. If you want something veganized, you can. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Okay, this dog has scared me. Hi, guy. How are you doing there? Woo! Hi. Hi, how are you guys doing? Come on, Sam. We're just doing this job. It's starting to sprinkle on us right now. And we're on our way home. And those dogs literally scared us both as we're both sipping our Starbucks drinks. I literally almost, you know, choked because they barked so loud and it scared me. And it's almost Halloween, so. Yeah, tomorrow's Halloween. We just got the costumes. Of course, you saw them the last clip. So, we're on our way home, so we'll see you guys later. It's sprinkling! Look at, look at, look at the sprinkling. It's sprinkling. Let's see if I can video this. It's sprinkling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I told you I'd make a good zombie. He's driving me in The Walking Dead. <laughs> Who attacked you with the eyeliner? Me. 
You brought to school with you this morning? No. Oh, okay. my face in school. Okay. Oh, wait till I do Lady Gaga. Uh, Lady Gaga on crack is my Halloween costume and you'd be Freddy Krueger. We gotta eat dinner a little bit early though. That's all. Time. I don't know. I just I like this house every year. They always hand carves the pumpkins every year. I wonder if you can see me. Can you see me? Yeah. You can actually see me? Oh my gosh. Get, get over here so I can see. So I can see you. With the light of the pumpkin. Put your mask on. Oh, that looks scary. Oh. I wonder if you can see us both at the same time. I'm Lady Gaga on crack. This is free. Oh, your dream and eat you. And I will just make you fabulous in your dreams. Alright. Oh, I don't know. Okay. 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 Oh, he said, oh, no, it's okay, sorry. so no, I'm sorry, I'm in, I bumped into you. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Thank you very much for coming to my channel and supporting me and loving me. It's first thing in the morning. No glasses. Can I focus this camera? Let's just see. Okay, let's just walk back to the house together. I just uh, saw my son out the door and uh, you know I always wake up with him in the morning and greet him and have my little chat with him in the morning. So. I'm about to have my first cup of coffee. And, uh, start my day. Look at this sky. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really cloudy here today. But I love weather like this. So we're gonna go to the backyard, guys. You just saw some birds flying around. I'm gonna take a quick look at the sky though. The sky is cool. If I would stop moving, maybe you'd focus in for you guys. It looks all white on my end. When I see it, I probably will be able to see it. <laughs> right now I'm taking a break from um, recording another video and processing it so you guys can see what I'm kind of going through. <laughs> with this one program I'm working with. That's pretty.
Lisa Joya, waking up in the real world, you know, uh, waking up with my son, spending some time with him. He's eating some breakfast. It's how we usually roll in the morning. Then I do my day, get up, do my real life. You know, I'm not just an avatar, I'm not just a, a vlogger, I'm a mom. Very proud mom. Very happy mom. Especially since, uh, you know, he was there for me during something. We'll discuss that at a later date, but anyways, I'm going to spend some more time with my son and I'll see you guys later. Ah, oh, guys, it's first thing in the morning. My son is getting himself ready for school. He's eating his breakfast still. Oh, just having a good old chat with my son. I really love spending time with my son. I really love to be around him because he's such a wonderful human being. He reminds me of the old me. And I can't wait. When I finally decide to grow up as an adult here, I know I'm the mom. But I hope to be just like my son on so many levels. Yeah. He is such an amazing individual and he's growing up to be a fine young man and he's soaking in all the stuff that I've been teaching him that sometimes I wish I would practice what I preach or maybe actually like think the way I teach him sometimes. <sighs> Things you can learn from your kids. Alright you two, we are going to sign right on out. All right guys, this is my usual morning. The cat usually gets water. I'm drinking my coffee. The kid is eating breakfast. And I'm off, you know, like this every morning. But spending time with my kid, you know, it's like the best thing in the morning for me. So I really do enjoy spending that time with my kid. Because there's no other time you get with your kids because they grow up too fast. Right? You grow up too fast. No comment for the no no comment for the YouTube people. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> okay, that's his comment. And then TT is a water Chinese water cat. She usually drinks water at the tap. And my mother's still sleeping, so. I'm gonna sign right on out for now. Itchies and scratchies, itchies and scratchies, itchies. What? You have no comment for the YouTube people, TT? You were just talking earlier. You were just talking. No talking for the YouTube people? They don't get a comment from the TT? No comment? Oh, follow the TT. Let's annoy the TT. Mmm. I got an itch, Mom. I got an itch. I got an itch. Brushing my hair. No way. No flipping way. Put your hair where it goes. You look like, like you got electrocuted. I like my hair like this. You look like you got electrocuted. I like my hair like this. No, it looks like you got electrocuted. I'm fashionable. No, you don't. You look like you got electrocuted. Nice. Now, now it's nice and puffy. No. Cookie mom say no. No. Cookie mom say no. Don't make me brush your hair on camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 
There's no mess in my hair. It's it's completely dead. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nah, uh-huh. See how fast that is? Because <laughs> you know, I follow through with what I say. See, that looks a lot better. But you need to do your sideburns. Your sideburns look kind of crooked. They look like they're curling. No, the sideburns, like right here. You need to, yeah. You need to fix those. When was the last time you shaved? Yesterday. Let me see. Is it I'm not good at shaving. You're gonna get better at it. I still yeah. can't get these last hairs. These last tiny little hairs. You have to do them in different directions, like up and down. I just oh, didn't good. get all of down here yet. Woo woo! So the, you guys wanted the day in the life of Alicia Joya? Well, I decided to give you the day in the life of Alicia in general because I'm the same person behind the avatar except for I'm not a pixel. Let me see. Let me see the. What did you say you can keep missing right here? Like right here. Hmm. And down here. And See how there's still hair down here, right there? Yeah. Keep missing there. It's it's a learning process. You have to do different directions. You have to be very careful so you don't accidentally nick your karate. I do my sideburns once in a while. Okay, well, we're going to have to... But those are easier to do, although I miss some hair still. I think your bus is here. Can we go check it? <coughs> bad, bad. Okay, let's see if we can see stars in this video as we wait for this bus. I think we can see them. I mean, I'm trying. I'm aiming at them. I'm trying to zoom in and zoom out. So bad. Here, I see stars, so but it only zoomed out. Oh, there we And your bus is coming. <clears throat> and there's Bob. And Saya. Mm -hmm. You are as good as your attitude, okay? Uh, have a good attitude, you'll have a good day, you understand? I and don't give in to the bullies, all right? I love you, have a good day, honey. <laughs> and there he goes, on his bus. Hi, honey, love you. this hip uh, camera's on me but uh this is what i usually do in the morning you guys want to know the day in the life of alicia joya or alicia joya haven depending if you're talking about my avatar versus my real life and now you guys get a chance to see or hear or you guys get a chance to you know know what's really going on with me so it's nothing spectacular nothing um, amazing, except for I have an amazing child, you know, I have an amazing son who I'm proud of, you know, that's all. Alright, see you guys later. Hi guys, it's Alicia Joya. I am in the morning getting myself ready for my day. Just popped out of the shower, getting my maybe third cup of coffee in the morning. I drink instant coffee because it's better on my stomach. And, uh... I put no creamer in it because most creamers are not vegan. And uh, I use white sugar because I don't have any more of my agave nectar that I usually put into it. And there's debates that white sugar is not vegan depending on how it's processed. And you really don't know where it was processed or how it was processed. So you can't really beat yourself up if uh, you know you don't know where it's come from or where it's processed. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I have a the whole day of mono meals to eat. <clears throat> so let me show you that. You can still hear me while I get. The first, I've already cleaned the first set. <clears throat> these are persimmons. These are actually the ripened persimmons. I already cleaned the outside. It's good they're gonna get. And that's the first set of persimmons that I'm gonna have as part of my snack. And then <clears throat> these ones I have to clean 
And these will be maybe like a brunch, lunch. Today's, like I said, model meal day. And then, and then get this. I get to go through all these persimmons in here and go to snack and dinner. I'm going to do Annihilation of Persimmons Day because my wonderful neighbor, uh, Steve, has brought me over a lot of wonderful uh, persimmons that are technically organic because he uses no pesticides on his trees. And so this is what I'm going to be eating all day. Plus, I'm going to get ready for the next video <coughs> in which I will be dressed and pretty much ready to go for you guys. You guys want to see the day in the life of Leisha Joya Haven or just my real life person, Leisha Joya, because that's what I go by in real life too. My name on YouTube is what I go by in real life too. I go by Leisha really, but a lot of people call me Leisha Joya. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to wake up, go get dressed, and then go eat, and then do my other errands for the rest of the day. I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, I am gonna have my first set of snacks here, which is the persimmons. These are extremely squishy, and I really love them when they're like, like this. So I just chop off their heads off, so to speak, like this part. Like I'll show you, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, like maybe this part? Focus, damn it, focus, focus here, how's that? I cut off this part usually, and then I cut it in half, and then I eat it that way. So if you get the chance to watch me to eat five of them, which you might see me fast forward this, because it's going to get messy. Let's see if I can talk during this. Like a mukbang? It's turning into a mukbang. I've never done a mukbang before. So I discovered that this part's actually good, but then this part's bad. So I just call it off. Okay, try it out. So this is inadvertently turning into a muffing, right? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Don't ever eat these when they're not, like, squishy. Ugh. Oh. It's like sweet candy from the gods. Mmm. I believe these are 75 to 100... 75 to 100 calories each, but... I don't really watch my calories. Mmm. Nom nom. And it's gonna get messy. That's why I didn't put my shirt on just yet. <laughs> Last time I ate like this, <laughs> I had a really nice shirt on. And uh, <clears throat> I got it all juiced up with this and I had to take off my shirt anyway and clean it, so. Mmm. Like nectar from the gods. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet, sweet candy. Mm. Mm -hmm -mm. You ever have food that makes you like so happy? Mm. Mm. One gone. One whole persimmon gone, like how messy my fingers are. See how messy my fingers are. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh well. I have no glasses on, so I can't tell if it's blurry or not. Ugh, look how messy. Man. Not working on persimmon number two. And I'm all messy. <laughs> oh well, right? From the nectar, from the gut. Oh, this is so squishy. Oh, it will suck off some of the good part off. Oh, oh well. Yeah. I don't like the skin of the persimmon. I never have. Some people eat the persimmon with the skin on. But this come from a tree and and it and didn't really clean well on the outside, so don't think I want to eat any excess dirt from the outside. 
Let's see how look how look how mushy this one is. It's so mushy it just it's dripping all over the place. Mmm. We like it when it's dripping, right? Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. I found out that persimmons are really good for your nervous system. Not only good for your nervous system, but um, they are good if you have like varicose veins and bad circulation. And I definitely have that. It goes with my iron deficiency. Mmm. Oh well, I'm not gonna put any more in the trash. I'm gonna just freaking annihilate this. It's the other half. Mmm. But I found out these guys have vitamin A, beta carotene. Mm. Mm. For you non-vegans that watch my channel, imagine you diving into um, barbecue ribs. This is what this is like for me. Mm. Like falling apart off the bone type thing. This is falling apart off the persimmon. <laughs> Okay, now this one's really gonna be squishy. It's like so gelatinous on the inside. So squishy. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look how beautiful it looks on the inside. Oh, it's such a shame that to cut these in half like so. I want to say thank you again, Steve, for these persimmons. Mm. God, I love these. They're so sweet. Freaking neck from the gods. I almost got it on my stomach. I almost dripped on my stomach just now. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not wearing my shirt. So I'm gonna probably be looking at my cutting board at the end. It's that good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Well, that part was a not a good part. This part will be. The only reason why is because it was like a part and a bad part. So I'll take that part. I'll put the good. Mm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh. This is so orgasmically good. Mmm. 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 It's so good. <laughs> I'm glad I waited for these to ripen up. It was so worth it. I probably will dive into the other ones too. Um, later on. I'm gonna get some carbs in me after I eat this. Cause anytime you eat fruit or anything like that, you need to add a little bit of carbs, just a little bit to carry on with the fruit because the carbs carry the, the energy steady, but if you have too much sugar in your system from like fruits and vegetables and stuff, you're gonna burn that out real fast, you know? So you need something that's gonna carry on the fruits. You need a little bit of carbs to go on. Mmm, that's my opinion. Okay? Mmm. 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 Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Mmm. Mmm. You can only see how good these are. Mmm. Mm. I'm so blessed to have a neighbor that knows I'm vegan and knows I'll eat every fruit off his tree without hesitation. <laughs> if it's right. Mmm. 
my other neighbor over here has figs and um, I'll take care of his trees for him and he lets me have all the figs I want. But I leave the ones on the top for the birds because I don't want to take from the from um, other sentient beings when I've got enough, you know? I like to share. In fact, um, mm, the birds outside, they don't really run from me anymore because I feed them mammals every day. I feed them like like grains and um, stuff like that that I buy for myself. I mean, and then I also feed the raccoons and the skunks that we have out here. Mm -hmm. And I'm noticing something really funny with the animals is that since I went vegan, they won't run from me as much like they used to. Um, it seems like they know that I won't harm them. Like they know my intention is to not hurt them and to not harm them. That, and they know that I'm not, my intention is not to hunt them and eat them. So they don't run from me anymore, you know? Not as bad as they used to, I mean. I had to cut this one kind of not, well, uh, much because it was like a bit uh, dark on top from the, um, the rotting from the tree type thing. So here I go. Mm. Oh. So fucking good. Mm. Someone asked me mm, if I did it raw before. And in the beginning I did. But um I don't anymore. I do the raw Talisha, basically. Or I eat whatever I want, all the fruits and vegetables I want up until I get sick and tired of them. I'm gonna have a cooked meal. I'm gonna break it up so it keeps it interesting. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, maybe. Oh, so delicious. Mm. Anyway, mm. I used to be in a raw before. Nothing wrong with it. I just got bored with that. Mm. I switch it up though. I do like do raw to eight or raw to six or raw to one. Or I I do carb the I carb in the morning and I eat fruit at night. But um, I have a really bad insomnia and the only thing that helps me is to eat at night. So that's why I eat the majority of my carbs so it's heavy in my stomach so I can sleep. Mmm. Oh, it's thin. Mmm, love it. Mmm. I think these have beta carotene in them because they're orange in them. Okay, guys. I can see why it's all messy. But I'm going to show you my cutting board. <laughs> it looks like a whole bunch of like orange gelatinous whatever. It's because it comes from a Okay guys, my camera stopped, but I was basically saying that this comes from a tree that has no pesticides on it. So basically it's like a organic tree, you know? And I'm already feeling the sugar into my system now where I feel like I need to eat carbs like very soon within the next 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video. I'm going to clean up. And uh, so, uh, yeah, there's juices everywhere. Mmm. <laughs> but look at all this juice, guys. Look. Mmm. Mmm. Look at all that. Mmm. Mmm. Orgasmic, right? I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. And I'll see you guys in the next set of clips. Good morning, Bear. Yeah. How you doing, sweetheart? Use on video. Ready? <coughs> you are so beautiful. Did anybody tell you you're beautiful? Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> Everybody, this is Bear. This is my neighbor's cat. He comes over to beat up the girls, but since one of our cats had passed away, he's been paying respect to her grave. Hi, beautiful. Hi, sweetheart. The other cat's not around, so you bully around. Glad you didn't hiss at me today. Wanna walk with me? Come on, let's go, honey. Come on. Walk with, walk with Leashy. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. Come here, honey. Come here, boy. Come here. So the world how beautiful you saw. Come back. There you go. He's such a good boy. Yeah. You need to go to your back to your home? You go back to your mom and your daddy? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. I think you're beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah, yeah you're beautiful. Yes. Yeah, you wanna see this? What's that? That's a camera. Like, oh, I don't like that thing. That's all right. A lot of people don't like it. Even the humans don't even like this thing. I don't blame them. It could be annoying, huh? That's what someone puts it in your face, huh? Yeah. I just want to show the world how beautiful you are. No more? You had enough? I'll respect that. Good morning, everybody. Well, you guys wanted to see the day in the life of Alicia Joya Haven. Or just Alicia Joya in general. My real life versus my avatars on various video games. Um... Well, I hope you enjoyed all those uh, videos and, you know, I get up in the morning, relax, chill, you know, do my thing, you know, make recipes, try to figure out new recipes for vegan recipes, try to find a way to get more calorie intake, um, how to be healthier, stuff like that. But right now, this is just me showing you the day and the life of Alicia Joya. And I hope you enjoy this weeks worth of vlogs in one sitting you might get some little mini gems separately in separate videos but yeah this is just a day in the life of Lisa Joya thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe poke cry send me private on uh, messages or whatever and um, I'll see you later thank you good morning everybody this is Lisa Joya I don't know if you can see this this morning but this is another thing into our morning. You want to know what my day in life with Leisha Joy is? I'm giving you a little inclining of what it's like. I am right now giving my son some space to do his eating and getting himself ready. Before I do the other checks with him, I'm always up in his face. I'm always up in his grill. People think that I'm a a tyrant type mom but hey you know what I know almost everything that goes on with their with their child and uh, a lot of parents don't know crap about their kids and I know a lot about my son because we have that open dialogue friendship thing so I hope you can see the sky I don't know if you can see it or not but basically to make a long story short it's come up well just barely starting to come up over the horizon and just a good morning in general so i have an awful gummy taste of that in my mouth oh i'm sorry it Are tastes you? like it tastes like dried up bubble gum mm -hmm. the other it also tastes like um um like like medicine like cough yeah. medicine and stuff i was just trying to switch you over to a more vegan friendly you know multivitamin but it's so hard to find vegan multivitamins nowadays i know well, yesterday was really fun no i had a lot of fun to get the hell out of the damn house and talk and get things off our chest you know we need to do that you know more often than than you think you know and it's okay if you need to get a break or if you need to talk you know you know I have your back, right? I know. 
you know, so if anytime you need to talk, you know, you could just always tell me, Mom, I need to talk, or Mom, I'm pissed off, or Mom, I need, I need this, or I need that, or, or something, you know, because I don't know unless you tell me sometimes, you know. And remember, you're going to have a good day today. Tell yourself in your mind you're going to have a good day, and you will, for the most part. You know what I mean? Because you're going to, you're, whatever you think, you manifest. If you manifest something, which means if you think about it, it will happen. That's what manifest is. Oh, and since everyone's going on the field trip today, Ms. Gossett told me she's either going to, she told me on Friday she's either going to stay back or send me to another classroom. I'm like, send me to the library. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, you're going to have a good day regardless, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. and just remember, you're only as good as your attitude, you I know what thinking, I mean? I was thinking you were about to say that. Yeah, well, you know, I say that every morning because you know why? Because it's true, yep. you know? I mean, don't let people, don't let people dictate how you behave. Do not let people... It's because someone's being a jerk face twat waffle to you, doesn't mean you have to be one right back. Yeah. You have to be the bigger person, you know what I mean? Yeah, I did not like my report card, though, with that, the, um... Well, it could the, be worse. The, um... I was more concerned about the talks too much in class no, remarks. <laughs> no, it was the remarks in general. No, the remarks were talks too much, mainly. The talk too much one I can understand, but there was another one. Yeah, which well, you got to learn not to talk was during it? school. No, there was another one besides talk too much. I wasn't paying attention to anyone else. <laughs> I was really just mainly paying attention to talks too much remarks. Like, say, uh... Yeah, we all talk too much. We talk too much when we have free time. Hmm. I was like, say, uh... I'm quiet when it's the schoolwork, but I'm not quiet when it comes to free time. You're not quiet in general. I know. You know, a long time ago, when you or your daddy was alive, um, you you couldn't talk for a while because you had a shunt on your head on your brain because of the, your your head injury. And when we had it removed, because it was putting pressure on your speak. You were not talking before, but the moment we removed it, nonstop, whoa, well, shut up. <laughs> exactly. But you know what, though? Huh. I would be worried the day you didn't, if you, the day you stopped talking. I'd be worried. You know? I'd be worried the day you didn't, like, have something to say. So that's why when yesterday you were quiet, all, the, all yesterday, and I saw your bottom lip was sticking out and you're all pouty and Mr. Attitude towards me and I didn't do anything to you. Yeah. I can understand if I did something to you, you'd be kind of like, you know, pissed off at me back, you know. But I didn't do anything to you. I was kind of like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm kind of like that at school. Yeah, I know, but you don't need to be that way no matter what. Just because you're that way at school, you don't need to be that way at school. I even get mad just because I'm mad. Well, I get mad too, but there's a reason why you're mad. Sometimes there's not even a reason. That yes, there is. Sometimes you're thinking about something from the past that it pisses you off now. Mm. And you're not even realizing it. You know? And it's okay to be mad, but it's what you do when you're mad. It's, it's what you do when you're mad. You know? It's okay to be mad. I'm guessing we have a sub today, considering the bus is late. Uh, I know how long it takes for the bus to get here. Yeah, because well. he takes a really long route. And mm -hmm. I think that's the bus. Yep, it's the bus. When I mention the bus, the bus always comes with every now mm -hmm. fail. But it's okay to feel what you feel. But sometimes it's because you're angry. It's because you're feeling other things first. Like you might feel depression, you might feel sadness, you may feel rejection or unlovable. You know what I mean? You may feel those feelings first. All right, have a good day. Love you. Ah, <laughs> oh, welcome to my typical morning, everyone. Hey everybody, the sun's starting to come up. It's one of the beautiful things about the morning I really like, especially about, not the only thing I like, but the thing I like about my day and my life is that I get a chance to wake up with a brand new day, 
wake up brand new, refreshed, and I get a chance to see the sunsets in my neighborhood. I like watching the sunset over my backyard, like adjacent to my neighbor's place, because like they're palm trees. Cast, cast like a shadow so it gives a good contrast to the orange that are popping up through the sky and how the sun is just starting to rise yet you still see the moon you see God's thumbnail well I'm gonna go ahead and get um, on with the rest of my day and I'll see you guys later